going to make a simple respawn and checkpoint system. You can find all of the code in the description below for free. I've got a simple setup, a player controller, a checkpoint sprite, and a lava that I created with my water 2D system. You can grab it in the description below for free. First, I'm going to create a new game object, call it respawn trigger, add a box collider 2D, set it up where the lava is, and I'm going to make it a trigger. Then I'm going to create a respawn controller script. We need a reference to store the last checkpoint that the player reached. And then on trigger enter 2D, we want to check if the player collided with the respawn trigger. And if he did, we want to set his position to the last checkpoint's position. Finally, we want to use the singleton pattern to make sure that we can access this code from anywhere in our game. For example, later on, we will want to access the respawn controller.instance.respawn point. Back in the engine, you want to make sure that your player has the player tag assigned to him. And we are going to create the starting checkpoint or the spawn point, and we're going to assign this checkpoint to our respawn trigger. As you can see, you should be able to respawn. All we have to do now is write some code that will update this respawn point once the player touches a checkpoint. So we will create a box collider 2D trigger on our checkpoint and a checkpoint script. We will need a reference to the checkpoint trigger, and then on trigger enter 2D, we're going to check if the player collided and if he did, we will update the respawn point on the respawn controller to the current checkpoint. And we're going to disable the trigger. This stops the player from using old checkpoints. Now you just need to attach the trigger reference and you can make as many checkpoints as you want. If you want to get the asset pack, you can find it in the description below for free. If you want to learn how to create this dialogue system, you can check out my other tutorial.